Okay, well, none of that happens, so let's uh, not talk about any of that. And Brutal Battlefield. Uh, let's see. We should probably switch my equipment around a little bit. So, Air Raider to... Uh, let's see. So, I'm, I'm just going to roll Air Raider today. And what do we want to do? I don't even know what level I'm I'm supposed to be on. So, let's grab the Rapid Fire Cannon. I'm playing solo, so it shouldn't matter too much what I'm rolling, but I don't want to be overpowered. It'd be nice if I could turn the... Uh, level limitations back on, but, eh. Ooh, Auto Cannon C has got a really short reload time. Okay, and obviously Spritefall Maximum is no way at all what I'm looking for here. So why don't we do... Well, we had Spritefall. Spritefall B? Let's go Spritefall B. That's always nice. And you know what? Oh, let's see. I think I was using that Armored Vehicle Grape. And I might switch back to punching things. I don't really know. Prep complete, and let's go. Yeah, so I guess for reference for what I was talking about, apparently you can't broadcast cheating for this game, which is a bit of a shame because, like, I guess you're not supposed. What? Okay, this could be an issue. Hopefully, I don't have to take one of these things out. I'm not sure if I'm necessarily... I'm not sure if I'm necessarily, uh... I'm not sure if I'm necessarily that well equipped for this sort of thing. We'll see. Unfortunately, it's been a while since I've done Air Raider business. And it's gonna be kind of tough. Uh... Ow. I might actually want to try Fencer for a little while yet. Is this just... This just seems like a lot. Plus, I still haven't, uh... I still haven't, like, given the, the full shake at, at Fencer. It's gonna be a little harder without, uh... Without other people to back me up and... No, most notably, pick me up. Actually, I think what I should be doing here is probably leaving. Unfortunately, this variety of grape is not nearly as fast as I'd like it to be. Now I can't turn this thing or Oh, no, I, I can't turn this thing around fully. That's unfortunate. Oh, I'm pointing to the wrong direction. I was like, where are the enemies? And the answer is, oh. That's where the enemies are. Okay. Auto cannon that guy. Yeah, I need to pick something with multiple charges. As much as I like the auto cannons and the rapid fire cannons, they're not actually very good at, uh... They're not actually very good at taking out these things. Oh, we've got frogs. Of course we've got frogs. Why wouldn't we have frogs in all of this? This might be a bad mission for me. Pop the sprite fall. I'm just gonna give up on that APC. We might be able to do okay, but I'm gonna need to go back and get some HP pretty quickly here. I guess we still do have NPCs that are alive here. I'm a bit shocked. I need, I need something to, to take out the UFOs, or I'm in trouble. Probably should have raised my armor maximum at some point, but whatever. Let's see, does anybody know the schedule? Nope! I don't even know the schedule. I just play what I play when I can play it. It doesn't always go great for me. I would like to be more consistent, but I, I mean, this is the answer I give every single time. It's just impossible for me to have, like, a, a distinct schedule on what I stream. There's just too many games, not enough time, and uh, most games that I pick up to play are very long. 
frustratingly enough. Oh, good. I'm up there, too. Okay, well, it looks like I've left much of the, uh, much of the horror behind. So as long as I don't get totally skunked on the way over to this, we should have a whole bunch of HP sitting around. A lot of it also has to do, right now, with the fact that... no, oh, that's bad. Uh, with the fact that I've been playing a lot of Dragon Quest Builders lately. Wonderful game. Absolutely wonderful game. Very time-consuming. And not short. Now, are these dropping? I don't, I don't know if I've seen a single one of these. Okay, here's the, here's the good stuff. Oh, balls. Ow! Oh, goddamn frogs. I'm doomed. Ah, got me in the foot. Okay, do I want to try... Do I want to try Fencer? I might go back to the Fencer for a little while. I was actually rather liking the Fencer. I, as much as I like uh, Air Raider... Uh, I did play Air Raider a lot the last time I played. So I do have the Jackhammer. Let's switch out the Canister Cannon with something with a little bit more punch. We got, we've got the Hand Cannon. There's not a lot there, actually. That's weird and frustrating. And I never quite realized how limited the weapon variety is in this. Because, yeah, we have stuff like the Arm Hound. What about the shotguns? Because we have Dexter Automatic Shotguns there. Holy crap! Yeah, if you if you use shotguns on a fencer in this game, it's not it's not great. So I could I could grab a weapon that's overpowered for what I'm rolling, or I could just keep using the light canister cannon. I, I guess for a little while. Hmm. Let's see. Do I want the muzzle stabilizer? Probably not. Maybe I do. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it for the time being. Okay, prep complete. Let's try this. Uh, let's see. But yeah, apparently you can get uh, your video taken down if you show cheating in this game. There's not something I would... Uh, in this game. Uh, let's see. For this game, I, you guys get the point. I was not expecting that, personally. It's a little bit of a shame. Just because, like, I feel like cheating should never be something that's looked down upon when it comes to uh, YouTuber, Twitch, or so on and so forth. In retrospect... I mean, for starters, I've seen the developers cheat. Like, the director himself, uh, let's see, was, was cheating for, uh, Iron Rain very specifically. Ow. Uh, maybe playing these on hard mode solo is a bad move. Maybe we should go back and do the... Maybe we should go back and do the, uh, fields. I was actually doing better with the, uh... Was doing so much better with the. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. With the air raider. I guess I can. Backdash. Full avoiding. Of 
so I don't I don't have to go forward. When it comes to uh, some of this. Let's see. Do I have any HP? Where the hell did all my allies go? Did they already di all die? Well, this is just bad. And unfortunately, I gotta kill something if I wanna get HP. And I'm down randomly. Okay. Uh, yeah, Wing Diver would be a good fit for this mission. Yeah, probably. I could mess around with the Wing Diver. Oh! Uh, welcome, Moose and Joe! Uh, how is life? Hello from both of us. How was, uh. Sorry, I didn't even notice. I am getting skunked here. Um. Let's see. What am I... I'm, pl I'm playing EDF, if you guys uh, haven't seen anybody else play it yet. Wonderful series. Kind of hard right now. I'm just going to turn up my guns. If it's if it's going to be hard on me, then I'm going to be hard on it. Uh, let's see. Penetrative force. There's a lot of damage. Heavy recoil. Not ex... Not a whole lot of, like, boom to it, though. I need something with some range. But how are you guys doing? Uh, and welcome. Sorry, I wasn't fully here when it uh, when you guys showed up. I guess we could try something like uh, one of the multi missile launchers. Armhound might not be a bad idea. Radius isn't amazing. There's stuff like the Phoenix, which doesn't work great. And yeah, I can't do hand cannon. Okay, the auto. Auto shotty might be a good idea. What else we, do we have? I could try like going full melee and just trying to churn through it all, but that doesn't seem like a smart idea. Alternatively, where's my jackhammer? Jackhammer Mark IIs. Do we just do double jackhammers? Uh, what's the arm hound? It's a lock on missile launcher. I don't know if it'd be good for this though. Otherwise, the other thing we could do is just go do, like, a whole boatload of ar armor farming, at least for a little while. But yeah, the problem is all of the, uh, all of the flyers are just death. Oh, I need a cannon. I can't, I can't do two fists because I can't jump. Okay, so that's that's meaningless. Uh, let's go back to fencer equipment. Switch this out. What do we grab? Because that's zoom, so I can't do the heavy cannon. Yeah. You really are stuck to just like a handful of things. I I could try using one of these missile launchers, like the Arm Hound. Oh, but that has a side thruster, so I can't do that. I need stuff like the jump booster. We might actually want to try the Gatling here. Yeah, I'll give you a warning. Some of the some of the missile launchers require a laser guided kit. Yep, which is not useful here. Okay, so I can't use the disruptor. I can't reload. Let's see if I do page down. So, Galleon Lightweight Cannon would do a lot of damage. Long reload time, though. I don't want to do any of the Gatlings here. I 
I'll try the lightweight cannon for the time being. We need something with some AoE. Let's see. Otherwise, we can switch from the hand cannon because I don't think the hand cannon is going to work at all for what I want to do. We'll grab the higher tier hand gatling. And if this doesn't work, we'll just switch back to uh, air raider and just stick to it consistently. Because the problem is, I was really expecting Fencer to have some more, like, explosive moves. Okay. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything particularly useful here. Let's see. Also seems like there's a lot of interruptions to my gunfire. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not liking this. It doesn't feel good. My god, that's a lot of dashes. Yeah, I've, I've got uh, max tier equipment. The only thing I don't have is armor. Okay, so auto cannon was good. Let's switch out the rapid fire cannon for something with a lot of charges. Single barrel or neutralize. Neutralize has 10. Let's go with that. And let's just switch away the auto cannon. As much as I like it, we probably want something mortarish. What is the biggest radius? Concentrated fire strategy. Otherwise, large howitzer. Let's go large howitzer. A double canister cannons. Can't do that. It's only... Uh, so double canister cannons is only going to let me jump. It won't let me dash at all. Also, the canister cannons barely do damage uh, outside of a tunnel environment. It does great in tunnels, but eh, not so much here. I really do wish this they would do away with the whole like alternate... Uh, weapons to some degree and just go with a a very purist like a, a very purist like upgradable weapons or even like just like limit the weapons down maybe because i like the gear system that they present in in edf i just find it uh I, I just find it's extremely anti certain builds. So like for example, you only get a shotgun every like twenty levels, give or take. Uh which sucks a little bit. It wasn't as big of a deal in Iron Rain. Uh, but I think that's because the, the gear actually felt like it was scaled kind of properly for the difficulty. I misjudged how big that boom is. Okay. Well, so far, kind of so good. Problem is, we've got red ants now. That's never a good sign. Okay. Please leave me alone. You are big and scary and e can easily kill me. Outside of my... APC, and that would be bad. Let's drop a howitzer on that area, and a sprite fall kind of here. And yeah, the neutralized cannon is mostly f for the flyers, less so for the red ants. <sighs> I've never really had, like, a proper solution to red ants. I have some, but none of them are great. Ow. Oh, come on. Spiders showed up. Oh, that went bad. Do we want to switch out? We might want to switch out the lar large howitzer for something else. It takes too much time to fire. Retreat. Do say I like the reusable AoE calling guns can be used in no time. Yeah, I really appreciate that. 
they did a lot to drastically improve this this game. What do I have? I've got the minigun. Minigun might not be a bad idea. Triple barrel cannon probably does more damage, though. But that's a single barrel cannon. Actually, single barrel cannon might be better than the neutralized cannon. And grab the minigun? Maybe? Let's see, what about bombers? Uh, maybe bombers. I like Sprite Fall a bit better because I can pull it constantly. Like, it's got such a short cooldown that I can just drop Sprite Fall almost as soon as it's done. Don't forget your mechs. Mechs aren't going to ma matter. Like, you got to remember, I've played a lot of this game, especially this one specifically, as... Uh... Okay, there's the red ants right there. I've played a ton of this game as... As Air Raider. So this is the one class that I would say I, I really know what I'm doing. Fence are not so much so. Okay, so far, kind of working out. It seems to be making pretty short work of... the flyers when I hit him. But yeah, no, mechs, especially in an environment like this, would last maybe a couple of seconds. Oh, I can barely get an APC out of the area. Before it, it got toasted. This is, this is one of those missions that you've got to constantly be more or less running away. Ah, oh, And not get stuck on stupid shit like one of these flyers guns. I do wish they'd actually stay slightly higher up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose this one. Man, I did so well the first time I did this round. Damn it. Lost that. But yeah. Uh, hard mode is very hard. You need to do a lot of armor farming to actually be able to survive this, which sucks. Oh. I just have to not have that happen this time around. Okay. Drop the sprite fall a bit closer. That might have been too close. Yeah, part of the reason why I go with sprite fall, by the way, is it's hell on flyers. Because it pretty much gets them. And... Uh, as for 400 HP gone in a flash. And I'm dead again. Damn. Yeah. Like, you really do need, like, a thousand HP to be... Doing hard mode solo. It's ever going to be on the Switch. I wouldn't bet on it. This is a very small, low-budget studio. Yeah, I could try stuff like Zare Guns or something. That might not be a bad idea. It probably wouldn't work, though. They've got a very long reload time. And so if you screw up with them, you're doomed. Damn it. That's just... That sh sucks. It might also be one of those that I actually have to roll back through my own carnage. Nope, I'm dead. I was going to say, maybe I need to roll through my own carnage. 
Well, we've got one other option. Let's retreat. I don't think the uh, A1 minigun's doing me a whole lot of good. Well, let's see, is bike man ranger only or can you do it with the air raider uh, too? No, it's ranger only. Class equipment, air raider. Let's switch away the A1 minigun. Stationary weapons. Because yeah, I've got a whole bunch of Zare guns. That's not that helpful. Yeah, the bunkers aren't that helpful. Where's the... Not life vendors. Not guard zones. Where's the anti-air mines? Well, you know what? We have one other option. The armor on my ranger isn't amazing, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. We don't want grenades. Do we have grenade launchers? We do. Splash grenade? Might be scary. That sounds fun. Let's see, what do we have? Stork was a reliable one. Slugger's okay. Thank you, Shadow Knight, for the 15, uh, 15 subs. Or, 15 subs. <laughs> Shadow Knight 15 for the sub, and welcome uh, to me getting my ass kicked. Really hard. Uh, but that's okay. So the Raven... Able performance. It does have some drop off. The damage isn't amazing. I like the Stork. Stork is reliable. Reload time is fast. Rate of fire is pretty good. What about some, like, level. some shotguns? Monsoon. Ammo capacity isn't great. Range is limited, but I think I'm fine with that. Breach is a little bit slower. Let's try the Monsoon and support equipment. Well, let's go all the way to the bottom. Probe? Whoa! Item acquisition range plus a thousand. Huh. Okay, lock on speed, lock on range, lock on speed, lock on range. I think the hybrid protector is probably good. So, obstacle destruction during dash, yes. So, what else do we have? Under assist. So, max really cranks up the dash speed, but does not increase my walking speed at all. Let's go with the lightweight liquid armor. I think that's probably the best I, uh, I have. Let's see. Yeah, because I really didn't use Ranger that much. I think Ranger is probably the most consistent of all the characters. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this stupid thing. I'm just gonna run straight through. I guess I could also run straight back. I'm faster than anything else. The immediate problem is you. And of dead. Okay, so we want to go out a little bit. I'd say Iron Rain seems a pretty beginner friendly, but that's my opinion. No, I would agree. Iron Rain is definitely, um... I think Iron Rain was definitely hard at times. The last mission sucks. 
Uh, let's see, Ranger. So let's get away with the away from the sticky grenade prototype. I mean, honestly, let's probably just do you have four. Do we switch up the monsoon? Probably. I could just go to the stork. Let's see, its range is pretty good. I wanted to be not in, uh, not boring, but it looks like boring is the way to go. Uh, let's see. It's really hard to say. So, I'm trying to think about it. EDF Iron Rain let you buy weapons. So, it took a little bit more grinding, but you could get what you wanted. And some of the weapons were properly ridiculous. Like, right out of the box. So you didn't have to worry about them getting, um... You didn't have to worry about grinding for them. You just had to pick and choose what you needed. Okay. This seems like this might have what I'm looking for. I do have to worry about air a little bit, but if I stay out here, I'm not I'm not taking as much damage as I usually have by this point, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're only hitting me at slight angles. I can really push them around. I also have a lot of red ants coming my way. I'm fast, but I'm not fast enough to outrun them. It takes a while to kill those guys. Okay, here they come. Yeah, I might also want to try the grant, maybe? Hard to say. Playing this game consistently on hard mode really is an experience. Have I? Yeah, I haven't beaten a single mission today. A lot easier with another pl player, I'll give it that. I'm... Hmm. I'm suddenly wondering if the, uh... If playing online just scales it for... As though you had multiple other people. Might actually be the case. Which would certainly also explain some things. Unfortunately, mission progress does not carry over... Ow! Now, unfortunately, uh, mission progress does not carry over between one of the next. I'm not getting anything. Uh, between single player and online. So I'm stuck with either this or not. Or we just accept that this isn't my day and I come back uh, with friends. Let's give it one more go. And if I can't if I can't find a loadout, I could always just turn it up. We could do the triple grenade launcher. timer. What's the, uh, what's the radius on it? 17 meters as opposed to the UM4, which is 10.2. There's also, like, splash grenade. Let's see. The slaughter. I don't know. I don't want to go too big, because this is this is not a, a series where I want to just, like, cheat hacks really hard. Because that's no fun. But, I mean, I'm definitely turning up the, uh, the equipment level here a little bit. I'd have to go back and see how I did this mission. I'm pretty sure I actually know what this mission... I was playing it on hard... I, I was playing it on normal mode with hard mode equipment. That's usually pretty consistently how I did things. Some pretty heavy spread. What I need is a shotgun with some strike through. This has got it. 
but I'm getting wrecked by air. Well, the grenades are working. I think it might also be one of those that this game really is balanced for hard mode later on-ish. It is not being forthcoming for, with health either. Oh, there's a health box if I can get to it. I just didn't got into- Oh, the frog shot me on the ground. Okay, you know what? I'm clearly not being terribly successful with this. I think I'm going to do a lot better. Uh, I, I think I'll do a lot better when I actually have people to play with. Uh, as in, I should probably record this earlier in the day or something. Um, saw someone flying with a chick. Shouldn't you play with her? Uh, play as her? Yes and no. So, unfortunately, rule of... Rule of... Uh, EDF... You really want to pick two classes to play as, or one to main as. Uh, and so I, I really can't play as the Wing Diver. So my Ranger only has 437 HP. That's bad. Wing Diver has 150 less than that. Wing Diver lets you hit and run, but I haven't played as her at all. I don't have the armor for it. I might hax up my armor a bunch, or grind my armor up a bunch. Uh, so I can actually, like, do some missions, but, uh... If you do pick up EDF, unless you're willing to grind a lot for extra bonus armor, it's just not worth, uh, sitting down to play for all four classes. You pick two, maybe. And then you only play those two. But for now, I think I'm cursed on EDF 5, so I'm gonna leave it for a little while, and then, uh, try and get some more people to play with in a day or two or something. Might mean we'll miss some episodes here and there, but it's also one of those where I've got a ton of this on YouTube, so I wouldn't feel too bad about missing a day. I got a lot of other things to record too. And yeah, I'll play when I can actually play with a group of people as opposed to playing all by my lonesome, which kind of sucks.